Welcome to Split Seconds. I'm Mallory Tucker. Let's take a quick look at what's happened this week at Lincoln Memorial University. brought home South Atlantic Conference Tournament Championships this week. Of the six championships up for grabs, LMU captured men's golf, baseball, and men's tennis. The men's golf team was led by Connor Froning, who earned SAC Championship Medalist honors after tallying a seven under par total of 209. The baseball team was led by freshman pitcher Wes Todd, who allowed only four runs in LMU's defeat of Carson Newman. The men's tennis team overcame regular season adversity to avenge its place over the Wingate Bulldogs by rallying for a 5-4 win. Senior Philip Hoffman was named SAC Championship Tournament MVP after finishing with a perfect 5-0 mark in three matches. Adding to the men's golf success were coach Travis Muncy and senior Jamie Chapman. In his seventh season at the helm of the program, Coach Muncy received the honor after directing the rail splitters to 11 top 10 finishes, 8 top 5s, and 2 tournament championships. Chapman's name is laced throughout the LMU record books as he ranks third all-time in school history for scoring average and win-loss percentage. Freshman Connor Froning contributed an all-SAC second team distinction to the mix. Congratulations to junior softball players Danae Reed and Brianna Mulkey who were named to the SAC All-Tournament Team and the All-SAC Second Team, respectively. Reed compiled five hits in three games with seven RBI, three runs scored, and three home runs, and led the entire tournament with a 714 batting average. Mulkey played and started in all 49 games for LMU, accumulating a team-high 63 hits with four triples, 71 total bases, and 39 runs. In conjunction with Discover Downtown Middlesboro, the School of Business welcomed revitalization expert Storm Cunningham, author of The Restoration Economy and Rewealth and CEO of ReCitizen. Cunningham drew a crowd of over 70 to share the potential of crowd mapping to perceive opportunities, crowdsourcing to design projects, and crowdfunding to launch projects. Cunningham emphasized the importance of putting tools into the hands of citizens to revitalize their own communities. The University Quad was abuzz with games and information booths as the LMU community came together for a special Earth Day celebration on Monday. In addition to enjoying a performance by the Canto International High School, students and faculty could tie-dye t-shirts, create chalk art, and participate in team competitions. This year, the American Criminal Justice Association team took home first place. The League of American Bicyclists recognized LMU on Tuesday as the first bicycle-friendly university in the state of Tennessee. There are 58 BFUs in 30 states across the nation, and LMU joins the company of such institutions as Stanford University, Harvard University, and UCLA. In August, a fleet of 20 bicycles, 10 mountain bikes, and 10 cruisers were made available to students, faculty, and staff for free checkout. Cycling-specific lanes on campus roadways came next and were followed by the installation of improved bicycle parking at all residence halls and many of the academic buildings on campus. That's a split-second look at what's happening around LMU. Be sure to keep an eye out for periodic updates throughout the summer. In the meantime, check out www.lmunet.edu for all the latest LMU news. Thanks for watching.